Well, it was the first day of school for students in the West Shore School District, and some of the classrooms, they'll look different because the district has opened two new intermediate schools. Fox 43, Sedona Meadows joins us outside the new Fairview Intermediate School in York County with all the details. What's up, Sedona? Well, good morning, guys. It's been so fun to watch all these kids coming into the new school. There's a lot of cheers, a lot of excitement, and they're being greeted by teachers and other staff. So it's been really cool. And I'm actually here uh, with the district superintendent, Dr. Stoltz. And uh, Dr. Stoltz, tell me a little bit about how you're feeling today opening up these two new intermediate schools. Well, we're super excited to open the two new schools today. Uh, we're excited to start the school year. And as I said, we're celebrating small wins every place that we can get them today. And the first is with the weather. It's not going to be 95 degrees today. Awesome. So tell me a little bit of backstory on why you guys decided to open up these schools to just fifth and sixth grade students. Yeah, so this was actually part of a, a feasibility study that we did several years ago um, and determined that uh, we wanted to reconfigure the entire K-12 to uh, setting for, for our students and move to a K-4 to and then a 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 to 12. So this is uh, the first big step in that direction to not only update our buildings and facilities, but also to move and reconfigure the schools. Uh, we felt like fifth grade was um, needed something a little more unique out of elementary school, and sixth grade needed something a little bit different than what was um, offered in middle school. And so we put the two together, and we're excited to have them open today. Awesome. So I know it's very early on. You guys just opened the schools, but how are you going to plan to kind of measure that success over the course of the school year and, and beyond? Well, in education, I think it's always easy to sort of measure success by smiles on kids' faces, satisfaction from parents. Uh, but more importantly, I think uh, in the bigger grand scheme of things, the effect that we'll have on academic outcomes and improved uh, achievement and um, really the experiences that we can offer students in all of our schools as a result of this. So tell me a little bit about the inside of these schools and these new spaces and, and what that's all about. Sure. Uh, again, when we did the feasibility study, we were really trying to envision the types of uh, 21st century learning um, spaces that, that we believe students need to make them uh, more competitive in the workforce when they get out of school. So spaces that allow for collaboration and better communication, um, of course, are outfitted with technology and um, the kinds that, that mirror the kinds of spaces that we often see in, in the workplace outside of school. And that starts here as early as elementary and, and intermediate school for us. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Soltz. Really appreciate your time. And there's just so much opportunity for these students. So it'd be really interesting to see uh, what, what goes on this next school year. So, thank, awesome. you so thank you so much. All right. Well, Jackie, Sean, a lot of excitement. Got to see, as I said, those kids coming off the buses. They were greeting their friends and there was just a lot of, uh, a lot of fun there. You know, the good thing about this, too, it doesn't matter what grade you're going into, you're still going to get lost. Oh, I mean, yep, everyone. Can, everybody's going to get everybody's lost. Everybody's going to figure it out together, but definitely exciting to have that new school. Thanks, Adona.